And the single most important tip that I bet half of you here don't even know is hidden within the task manager. Firstly, press Control, Shift and Escape on your keyboard all at the same time to bring up the task manager. And what this does is so simple and yet so elegant. Essentially, next time you're running a game and it crashes, instead of you having to restart the whole PC just to get your PC to start working again, you just open up the task manager and end the task because it appears on top of your crash game. Why on earth is this not the default? Bonus tip while we're on this subject, by the way, Editor Carl highly recommends Windows Shift and S, which brings up the selective snipping tool feature that's really handy for taking screenshots on the fly. Now I'm sure loads of you already know this one already, but for anyone new out there, I highly recommend you check out Alt and Tab, as this allows you to cycle through open applications and is the single best way of cycling between an open game and any other windows like your browser or Discord. From one extreme to the other though, something that's a lot more hardcore is something called advanced launch options, and this is very useful for games that are, how should we say, less optimized than others. And I think the most obvious use case for this is actually around Apex Legends, as this is a game that's capped to 145 FPS by default, and the only way to disable this is to go into Origin or Steam, right click the game, and then add a custom launch option. With Apex, it will be FPS underscore max space unlimited, which unlocks the FPS, but there are many games that can be changed with similar parameters. It's also worth grabbing an application called Notepad++, as some games require even more work. Simply press Windows and E to open up Explorer, then go to View, and hit the box that shows the hidden files and folders, and changing any lines in the settings files with Notepad++. They usually have the extension .ini. For me personally, this has been really useful for unlocking frame rates in games like Batman Arkham Knight, or fixing game crashes where the resolution doesn't match up with what your monitor can display, 